Drawing closer to the start of game one, let's join public address announcer Alex Miniak. Briefly now, we'll look at the two starters who get the ball here in game one. And now here's a look at the Minnesota Twins starting lineup. What do we need to know about these guys for this evening's matchup on the road, d -Row? Matty, you take a look at this lineup. I find myself thinking back to my playing days when I knew I had the ace on the mound. It had to be win day, and when you get in a car to drive to the yard, you tell yourself, even though you felt bad about it, just get two or three. All the pressure's on the big boy to have to execute, and he usually does. Look for this lineup to try and execute and score, manufacture one or two runs early in this one. All right, boys, let's take a look at how the Yankees are setting up on defense today. Hey, let's focus on Cameron Maben in the outfield. One of the more dynamic outfielders in our sport. He's able to cover a ton of ground, gap to gap. I almost feel like he's playing left center to right center. He's not playing center field. He's got it all covered, bailing the other guys out, and not shabby with the offensive tool either. Here's Nelson Cruz now. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch sends that one out of play for strike one. Oh, one. Here's the pitch in there, and it's oh, two now. And a fastball swung on and missed, and the leadoff man is gone to open up the ball game. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Jeez, I mean, that fastball was way behind him when the swing came through the zone. I have to think he was looking for something off speed, and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. Jason Castro, the catcher, is in. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. 1 and 1. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Working the plate is Carl Dixon. Hey, d -Row, one of the things you have to be aware of as a hitter from Carl Dixon, he'll call that high strike. Yeah, he will. So you better be on top of your game with two strikes, because if they elevate, good chance Carl Dixon's punching your ticket. One out, nobody on. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Taken in by Gregorius. Landers at number two. So bases are empty here with two gone. And A. Ray Adrianza will be the next to bat. Paxton peers in. First pitch on its way. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. Bases are empty here with two men out. Cut fastball, and it's by him one and one. The one one is strike two swinging. Oh man, he just tied him up in knots right there. Slap hard the opposite way. Judge is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. 
Twins are set down one, two, three. And now the Bombers will get their shot. No score. With that, it's time to check out the starting lineup for the hometown Yankees. Mark, what do you have on this group in front of the home crowd tonight? Well, Matt, when we drove over to the ballpark today, we were expecting some offensive firepower, especially in this yard. It's a hitter's yard, but that could sometimes work against them. I'm interested to see what lineup stays within themselves and executes and manufactures to get this W. Jose Barrios gets the call in hostile territory here for game one of the division series. What do we need to know here?